Welcome back everyone. Uh, this is part two of the walking baselines tutorial. Uh, so in part one, we covered uh, constructing a walking baseline for autumn leaves uh, using roots and fifths and chromatic approach notes. Um, so make sure to watch part one before this video as, as this is gonna directly lead on from that exercise. I'll put the link in the description for that video below. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at some more linear scale-based uh, bass patterns to add a bit of variety to our bass lines. Um, specifically, we're going to be looking at <coughs> joining together uh, chords that are moving through a cycle of fifths. Um, so any two, five, one sequence, or any time you're moving up a fourth or down a fifth. Um, and in the case of Autumn Leaves, the tune that we're working with here, um, you can use this uh, technique to link together any two of these chords since Autumn Leaves um, is just going around a cycle of fifths in the key of B flat major. So we're going to be looking at ascending patterns and descending patterns uh, and we're going to start with descending patterns. So if we look at the first two chords, uh, C minor 7 to F7, and let's look at how to uh, use a descending bass line to link these two chords together. So, as I mentioned, we're in the key of B flat major here. So we're going to start on C and just walk down through the B flat major scale until we get to an F. Um, now this works out really nicely uh, because we have four notes before we get to the F. So that these four notes make up one whole bar. So one, two, three, four, and then the first note of the next bar happens to be an F, which is our next chord. Like that. Um, and then if we carry on from the F7 to the B flat major 7, we use the same principle. So we start on the F and we walk down through the B flat major scale. And then again, the first note of the next bar just happens to be B flat. So let's walk down through uh, the B flat major scale to link together those three chords. And it should look something like this. Like that. So that gives us a nice uh, descending bass line pattern. So if we want to do an ascending pattern, um, it works out slightly differently. Uh, and let's have a look at why. So if we start with these first two chords again, C minor 7, F7, and this time we'll walk up through the B flat major scale. Now we run into a problem there that we've only got three notes before we hit our F. So we need, to, we need a fourth beat from somewhere to uh, make up the whole bar. So what we can do is just add in a chromatic note like that. So that will give us our fourth beat. So one, two, three, four, one, like that. And then again, we'll go from the F7 to the B flat major seven. Again, we only have three notes of the scale, so we need to add in a chromatic note. And often you'll have more than one option of uh, what chromatic note you can pick. So here we could either use um, the F sharp, like that, or we could use the G sharp. So just use whatever you think sounds better. So now let's use the, that ascending pattern to link together those three chords. Like that. And we could combine ascending and descending. So we could go ascending from the C to the F and then descending from the F to the B flat. Like that. And you can uh, practice doing this between any two of the chords in autumn leaves uh, it always works so for example uh, if we wanted to go from the b flat to the e flat if we wanted to go um, 
down. Then we just walk through the scale. If we wanted to go up, then we'd need to add in one chromatic note. And similarly, if we wanted to go from the E flat major seven to the A half diminished, if we want to go down, then we just walk down through the scale. If we want to go up, we'd need to add in a chromatic note. So once you've practiced uh, using these scalar patterns uh, linking together chords, um, then the aim is to mix these ideas together with the original um, arpeggio-based um, bass pattern we did in the first video. Uh, so I'll play th you through an example of um, all that mixed together now. So that's all I'm going to cover in uh, this second video on walking bass lines. Um, there are some other situations where different approaches might be necessary. Um, for example, with modal tunes or when you've got chords that are lasting for, you know, qu uh, quite a few bars. Um, so um, if there's enough interest on this topic, I, I may do more videos specifically on walking bass lines. So um, let me know if, yeah, if this, if you like this kind of thing. Um, but hopefully what I've done in these two videos will be enough to get you uh, at least started with um, putting walking bass lines into your tunes. So um, yeah, I really hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, please let me know if it was, or if you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.